Breed of Man. A game that I can describe between a mix of GTA RP and Arma Life. A game that got a significant amount of hype and support on TikTok due to the devs' promises that the game would be entirely free. Not only has a dev gone back on his word, his reasoning for doing this is that servers and anti-cheat are very expensive, something that he apparently overlooked. Now, I'm not a game developer, and I don't know how expensive these things are, but $30 still didn't sit right with me. And it's not until he explained his third reason that everything started to make sense. Bro, you said that it was going to be free or like $5. At the very beginning, I did say it was going to be free, but that was prior to me having to pay for servers. Which, I mean, servers isn't the only reason I priced it at $30. Another reason is that I want to expand with this game. Like, I want to make enough money to, like, start my own studio and start making even more games. It's really a business endeavor. So then I can develop myself and my games to be even better. So he is using this game which many consider to be an assets flip, to jumpstart his own studio. Now, many people are upset at this, and rightly so. It's almost as if you're paying $30 for what this game will be, rather than what the game is now. And I don't like it. I see paying $30 as an investment that's just not worth taking. I mean, he isn't obligated to continue development, and at any time, he could just disappear altogether just like he has done with his other games. And speaking of asset flips, a couple of days ago, I was scrolling through my For You page and found a rather interesting video about the game. I'll play it for you now. The game you claim to have spent 1,000 hours on is made up of both free assets and very cheap ones, ones I found within four minutes of looking. As you can see, I have your movement system, your driving system, and even the assets you have used. This is a 10-minute video which is low effort and shows how your whole furniture system works, and how to make it. A game which your whole map can be recreated within an hour or so with a free map which you rip assets out of and use in your so-called solo developer game, when most of your map is pre-made by other developers. So according to the video that I just played, the game is full of free assets, and or very cheap ones. Not to mention, he rips assets from other player-made maps and adds it to his own. So would he really be considered a single dev if he uses assets of other player-made maps? Well, I guess it depends on where you draw the line, but then again, he also uses helpers and contributors for models. And in this screenshot, one of those people in the contributors discord said that Nick, aka the dev, does little to no modeling and leaves that to his contributors which he doesn't pay. I wrote a comment on that TikTok video I played saying that I was planning a video on the game and another ex-supporter messaged me and linked me a TikTok video that made the dev look terrible. In the video he doesn't talk, he puts text on the screen, but to summarize the video, he was a Patreon supporter and that's how he got a code to the game to play it early and the dev intentionally removed the game from his account, which I didn't even know was possible, and he was also banned from the Discord. Now, I wanted to know why, so I sent him a message on Discord and waited. When he got back to me, he told me the reason he was banned was all because he was opposed to some really stupid and in my opinion grubby features that the dev wanted to add and ended up adding. So not only did he get banned for criticizing the game, he also got his code revoked that he paid money for and here are the screenshots. Yes, you are reading that right. You have to boost the server in order to have access to the bug report channel. Now, this was a couple months ago, so I'm not sure if it's still a thing or not. It is at this point that I realize that the dev has gone full grub mode. $30 is uh, a child that doesn't have any money. So everyone that wants the game to be free just doesn't want to ask their mom for their credit card. Which I get. I mean, I was young once. Shut up, you're probably like 110 pounds, 5 foot 6. I'm at a whopping 6 foot 2, 195 pounds, 7% body fat. Let's go look at some of these TikTok profiles. Look at you with your 324 followers. What a guy. I should really be taking advice from this guy. Bro trying to brag like we care. Alright, let's pop open your profile. Let's see. Ooh, one follower. That's rough. 
Why'd you promise the game to be free? Um, you guys are saying you guys are saying that like I just robbed you. Like I'm not your dad. You're making it sound like I'm your dad that left you. So not only is he not a single dev, since he has contributors making models for him, he also bullies his fans and outright bans any of them who criticize him or his game. And to pile more wood onto this dumpster fire, the dev is also a liar. Remember when I said the game received a lot of hype due to the fact that he said it was going to be free? Well, he said this, or wrote this. I'm making a free multiplayer game with him. The point of advertising was that the game was going to be free, that's what's got a lot of people hyped. It wasn't a city ran by players, and even if you go to the Steam reviews, most players or most reviewers will be saying just this. I was going to play this game at launch to see if it was at least fun, to have at least one good thing to say about it, but when I booted it up, I saw this. You must sign in to Steam through the game in order to play. On top of this, there was a video on YouTube of a guy trying to get into the servers. As you can see, these are the very expensive servers that he was talking about. These servers are the reason why the game isn't free. It's gonna have to be it for the video. Um, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Um, I was going, like, to be fair, I was going to play the game. But when I when we I paid the $20, booted up the game, me and my friend, both of us paid the $20 and booted up the game. Um, it, it wanted us to log in uh, to Steam uh, through this external website or whatever. Um, it looked really sketchy. We had to put in our emails. We had to do all this. It looked really sketchy. I wasn't going to do it. Uh, my friend either wasn't going to do it. So we decided to just refund the game. Um, I, you know, I mean, I don't think it's that difficult to give us the game and without having to do this. This is just, I, I've never seen this before where you have to like do all these extra steps in order to play the game. That's very strange. Um, I encourage anyone that bought the game to refund it. Um, I don't think this dev deserves your money, especially how he treats people. And his fans that criticize him. Um, this uh, video will probably be copyright striked um, because I was speaking to a person and he was also making exposed videos on this game and uh, he also said that his videos were, were copyright striked and then he annoyed the dev enough that the dev completely like blocked him on his uh, socials so he can't even talk to the dev. Uh, and this was the guy that um, you know, was a Patreon supporter, bought the game, you know, spent money, and he's not ever seeing his money back, that's for sure, um, which is, you know, I mean, I, I can't even say, um, you know, he should have known better, um, although there were many examples, like his previous games that he just never finished, um, you know, so, anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling on, uh, I'm gonna end the video here, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video again, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.